Have you ever felt different? Like you were meant for something greater? Perhaps you have always known that you were unique, a light in the darkness set apart from the crowd. This feeling isn't just a figment of your imagination. You are one of the chosen ones destined to make a profound impact on the world. But what happens when others start to see your true identity? How do they react when they realize the power and potential you hold? It can both mean great things or terrible dangers ahead of you. Journey to discovering and embracing your true self is both thrilling and daunting, filled with moments of revelation and challenges. But before we get there, it's time for us to reveal the true identity of a chosen one. Your identity as a chosen one from the beginning of time. There have been stories of individuals who stood out, who carried within them a spark that could change the course of history in various spiritual traditions and philosophies. These individuals are often referred to as chosen ones. In Christianity, they are seen as those anointed by G. Odd for a special purpose in Hinduism, they are the ones who have realized their true self. The Atman and its connection to the divine Brahman, these chosen ones are not just historical figures or mythical heroes. They are real and they exist among us today. One of the first things you will notice as you step into your true identity is a heightened sense of awareness. The world seems to open up revealing layers and connections you never noticed before. This is often referred to as a spiritual awakening, a moment of clarity where you understand your place in the universe. The ancient Greeks spoke of this as gnosis, a deep, intuitive knowledge of spiritual truths. This awakening can be both exhilarating and overwhelming. It feels like you have been given a pair of glasses that allows you to see beyond the physical world into the realm of the spirit. You brave one might be one of them, and this will definitely change the way people see you. This is because your light, your authenticity challenges the status quo. It pushes people to confront their shadows and insecurities. The reactions of those around around you can ERA, from admiration and support to envy and resentment. The shift in how people perceive you can be startling, especially when it comes from those you once considered close and trusted allies. Try to understand these reactions. Navigate them with wisdom and grace and stay true to your path. You'll attract positive influences as you embrace your true self. You will begin to attract like-minded individuals. This is the universe, his way of guiding you, providing you with a support system of souls who understand your journey. These connections are in V, alluable, they offer support, wisdom, and encouragement when the path gets tough. The Buddha once said, an insincere and evil friend is more to be feared than a wild beast. A wild beast may wound your body, but an evil friend will wound your mind. Surrounding yourself with sincere, supportive individuals is crucial as you journey fur further into your true identity. You will also experience moments of intense doubt and fear. These moments are a natural part of the process. They are the shadows that arise as you shine your light brighter. It's important to face these. He shadows with courage and compassion the T.A. Ching and Ancient Chinese text teaches that true wisdom comes from embracing both the light and the dark. It is through this balance that we find harmony and peace. As you continue to embrace your true identity, you will find that your life begins to transform in profound ways. Opportunities will arise that align with your purpose. Relationships will deepen and become more meaningful. You will start to live a life that is authentic and fulfilling. This is the reward of embracing your true self. It is a life fill. D with purpose, joy, and love. It is a path filled with challenges and rewards, but also dangers. As you can imagine, not everyone will celebrate your awakening before we delve into the most worrying of these dangers. Let's start with its first level. Others will feel threatened. There will be those who feel threatened by your special identity. They may try to undermine you, casting doubt on your abilities and purpose. This is often rooted in their fears and insecurities. This has happened countless times in history, so much so that it has been reco guarded in many sacred books and texts across civilizations, the Bhagavad Gita. A sacred Hindu text tells the story of Arjuna, a warrior who doubts his strength and purpose. It is through the guidance of Krishna that Arjuna learns to embrace his true self and fulfill his destiny. 
Similarly, you must find the strength within to rise above the negativity and stay true to your path. There's something you must know about your true identity, a fact that 90% of people don't know about chosen ones. You see as a chosen one, you emit a unique energy, a sense of F purpose and direction that is often palpable to those around you. This energy can inspire and uplift, but it can also provoke feelings of envy in others. Envy is a powerful emotion, one that can lead to strained relationships and unexpected opposition when people sense your rising potential and the, the divine favor that accompanies your path their own insecurities may surface. They might compare their lives to yours and feel inadequate or threatened by the possibility of being left behind. This reaction is not uncommon and can be found in many spire. Ritual traditions and philosophies, for instance. In the Bible, the story of Joseph and his brothers is a classic example of how envy can arise among loved ones. Joseph's brothers were envious of his dreams and the special coat given to him by their father, leading them to betray him similarly as you step into your role as a chosen one. Those close to you might struggle with their own feelings of inadequacy or fear, that your path will diverge from theirs. But how do envious reactions tend to manifest? Some people might become distant or cold, unable to oh, cope with the changes they perceive in you others might become more overtly hostile attempting to undermine your confidence or belittle your achievements. These reactions can be particularly painful when they come from friends or family members who once supported and cherished you. It can feel like a betrayal, leaving you questioning the authenticity of those relationships in Buddhism. There's a teaching about the three poisons of the mind, greed, anger, and ignorance. Envy can be seen as a form of greed, or desire, a longing for what someone, someone else, possesses it stems from a place of inner lack and can cloud one's perception leading to anger and ignorance. When people react with envy, they are often acting out of their own unhealed wounds and fears. Recognizing this can help you maintain compassion and understanding even in the face of hurtful behavior. But envy is to be expected in almost all walks of life, more hurtful is its polar opposite a poison of the mind that has caused many chosen ones to abandon their path out of pain. What it is, ignorance, alienation from ignorance, the shift in your relationships might not only be about envy. Some people may genuinely struggle to understand your journey or feel left out as you grow and change. This can lead to a sense of alienation on both sides. You might find that conversations that once flowed easily now feel stilted or superficial. Shared interests may no longer alive, and the emotional connection you once felt may seem to w. Despite these challenges, remember that this is a natural part of your journey. The path of a chosen one often involves shedding old patterns and relationships. At no longer serve your highest good as you grow, you attract new people and opportunities that are more aligned with your true self. This doesn't mean you have to sever ties with everyone from your past, but it does mean being concerning about who you allow into your inner circle. Plus, there's one trick. Ancient chosen ones always learn to navigate these difficulties. It's the concept of Sanha, which comes from Buddhism. Sanha refers to a community of like-minded individuals who support each other on the spiritual path. Finding your own SS, whether it's a formal group or a collection of individuals who understand and resonate with your journey can provide the support and encouragement you need. These REL relationships are based on mutual respect, understanding, and a shared commitment to growth. And enlightenment, navigating the reactions of others, is an integral part of embracing your role as a chosen one. It requires strength, resilience, and a deep sense of self-awareness. You must learn to balance compassion for others with the need to protect your own energy and well-being. This might mean setting boundaries with those who are unable or unwilling to support your journey. It might also involve seeking out new mentors or guides who can help you navigate this path with wisdom and grace. Ultimately, the reactions of others can serve as a mirror reflecting back to you. Aspects of your journey that you might need to address. 
They can reveal where you are still vulnerable to doubt or where you need to strengthen your resolve by facing these challenges. Head on you not only grow stronger, but also pave the way for others to follow as more and more people discover your identity. You might also encounter a dangerous prospect, the mysterious and often misunderstood power of witchcraft, witchcraft against a chosen one, a chosen one. Guided by a sense of divine purpose and destiny may find themselves confronted by individuals who perceive their energy as a threat or challenge. These practitioners of witchcraft, whether motivated by fear, J, or a desire for power, may attempt to disrupt or divert the chosen one's path. This ancient practice rooted in the manipulation of energies and forces beyond the visible world can take on various forms and intentions. For some, it is a path of healing and connection with nature, while for others it becomes a tool of manipulation and control. When witchcraft intersects with the journey of a chosen one, it often creates a unique and solitary path for both parties. Involved when directed towards a chosen one, it can manifest as psychic attacks, energy draining, or attempts to manipulate the chosen one's spiritual journey, the solitary nature of this journey arises from the inherent imbalance of power and understanding between the Chosen One and those who practice witchcraft while the Chosen One may be guided by divine forces and supported by spiritual allies. They must navigate these child challenges largely alone. The path becomes a test of inner strength, discernment, and resilience against external influences that seek to derail or obstruct their higher purpose throughout history and mythology. Tales abound of chosen individuals encountering sorcerers, witches, or magicians who test their resolve or attempt to thwart their destiny. These narratives underscore the universal theme of spiritua, el warfare where forces of light and darkness contend for supremacy in the realm of human consciousness, but in the end, the journey of a chosen one will always triumph over those who wield witchcraft. For dark purposes, you'll come to understand that true strength lies not in dominating others or succumbing to fear, but in embodying compassion, integrity, and alignment with divine will. By maintaining this inner alignment, they transcend the manipulations and distractions of external forces, forging a path illuminated by their own inner light. But the bit. There's one rare occurrence when others discover your true identity that even seasoned chosen ones don't know how to deal with. It's such a rare event, one that highlights the universe's natural synchronicity that only one in a million will ever experience it. You might encounter positive or negative reactions from other chosen ones as you walk. This is a meeting of souls whose path are guided by higher forces encountering other chosen ones when two chosen ones cross paths, whether by chance or by destiny. It often sparks a profound recognition, A.D., ep, knowing that they share a sacred bond rooted in their divine missions. This recognition transcends conventional understanding as if they are two pieces of a cosmic puzzle coming together to fulfill a greater purpose in various spiritual traditions and myths. Such encounters are often depicted as meetings of kindred spirits or soulmates who resonate on a profound energetic level. They may recognize each other through intuitive insights, shared visions, or synchronistic events that defy logical explanations. This mutual recognition serves as a con, formation of their roles as chosen vessels for divine will. The meeting of two chosen ones can catalyze profound growth and transformation for both of them. It becomes a sacred exchange of wisdom, support, and energetic alignment that amplifies their spiritual journeys. They may engage in deep soul dialogues, exchanging insights about their missions, spiritual practices, and experiences of divine guidance. Moreover, the encounter with another chosen one can offer a sense of validation and belonging in a world where their paths may often feel solitary and misunderstood it reinforces their shared commitment to embodying higher virtues and serving the greater good. Despite the challenges and obstacles they may face along the way, 
At the same time, the dynamic between two chosen ones is not without its complexities. Each individual brings their unique perspectives, strengths, and vulnerabilities to the relationship they may undergo periods of intense spiritual testing or energetic resonance as their energies in interact and harmonize in intricate ways. In some spiritual traditions, the union of two chosen ones is seen as a sacred union of masculine and feminine energies, symbolizing the balance and harmony necessary for spiritual evolution. Together, they may embark on joint missions or collaborative projects that contribute to the collective awakening and healing of humanity. Such an encounter will lead you to understand a harsh reality of your true identity, the need for solitude. The need for solitude arises from several factors intrinsic to the Chosen One's journey. Firstly, their heightened sensitivity to energies makes crowded or chaotic envy. Ironments overwhelming these individuals often absorb and process energies more deeply than others, necessitating periods of retreat to recharge and maintain spiritual equilibrium. This sensitivity can also make them more susceptible to negative energies, including jealousy or ill intentions from others, which can disrupt their energetic balance and mission. The need for solitude, moreover chosen ones are often called to undergo intense spiritual purification and inner transformation. This journey requires deep introspection, meditation, and communion with higher spiritual realms activities that are Best undertaken in quiet, contemplative settings away from distractions, solitude provides them with the necessary space to connect with their inner guidance, receive divine insights, and align with their higher purpose. Furthermore, the complexities we explored today, such as envious reactions and potential witchcraft, underscore the challenges chosen ones face in social environments. Their unique gifts and spiritual insights may evoke admiration or envy in others, leading to dynamics of misunderstanding, or even hostility as a result, chosen ones may feel. The need to retreat from social interactions to protect their energy and focus on their spiritual growth without external interference, other people's reactions to the chosen one's need for solitude can vary widely, often reflecting their own beliefs, perceptions, and experiences. Some may react with understanding and respect, recognizing the chosen one's spiritual part path and the necessity of solitude for their growth and service. These individuals may admire the Chosen One's dedication to their spy, ritual journey and honor their commitment to seeking higher truths and divine guidance. On the other hand, many people may struggle to comprehend or accept the Chosen One's need for solitude. This can lead to reactions of confusion, skepticism, or even judgment. In a world often driven by external validation and social norms, the idea of withdrawing from society for spiritual purposes may seem unconventional or impractical. To some, they may view solitude as a form of isolation or withdrawal, not understanding its deeper purpose in fostering spiritu. Our growth and alignment envious reactions, as discussed. Earlier can also play a role when others perceive. The Chosen One's spiritual gifts, insights, or unique connection with divine-divine energies. They may experience feelings of inadequacy, jealousy, or resentment. This can lead to behaviors or comments that undermine the Chosen One's decision to prioritize solitude. Envious individuals may attempt to persuade the Chosen One to conform to societal expectations or question the validity of their spiritual experiences. Moreover, skepticism and disbelief are C, common reactions among those who do not share or understand the chosen one, spiritual beliefs or experiences, they may view solitude as unnecessary or dismiss it as an excuse to avoid social responsibilities. Skeptics may challenge the chosen one's motives or question the validity of their spiritual journey, seeking logical explanations or empirical evidence to justify their own worldview in spiritual traditions and parables. We often encounter stories of prophets, mystics, or enlightened beings who withdrew from society to pursue their divine missio.
ends these narratives underscore the transformative power of solitude in facilitating profound spiritual experiences and revelations by distancing themselves from worldly distractions and influences. Chosen ones can more effectively embody their spiritual teachings and serve as conduits of divine grace. Ultimately, the need for solitude among chosen ones is not about isolation or withdrawal from humanity, but rather about creating sacred space for spiritual communion growth and service. It allows them to deepen their connection with Div, Ein Guidance integrate higher frequencies and embody the virtues and teachings they are meant to share with the world. As we reflect on the journey of chosen ones and the challenges they face, we recognize the importance of honoring their need for solitude and understanding the profound sacrifices they make to fulfill their divine purpose purpose. Their journey invites us to contemplate the transformative power of spiritual alignment and the role of solitude in fostering deep inner peace wisdom and spiritual illumination amidst the complexity. S of human existence, family, and loved one's reactions to a chosen one's need for solitude can be particularly complex and emotionally charged. These individuals often have de-rooted bonds and expectations based on shared history and familial roles. When a chosen one withdraws from social interactions or spends significant time in solitude, it can evoke a range of responses from those closest to them. Navigating these reactions properly is the biggest challenge a chosen one will experience, for these are the most important people in a chosen one's life. Fam. Highly and loved ones, initially family members and loved ones may feel concern or worry about the chosen one's well-being. They might interpret the desire for solitude as a sign of emotional distress, depression, or a desire to escape from responsibilities. This concern can stem from a genuine desire to support and protect their loved one, prompting them to seek reassurance or understanding about the reasons behind the chosen one's withdrawal. At the same time, reactions may also include feelings of confusion or misunderstanding. Family members who are accustomed Omed to a more traditional or conventional approach to life may struggle to grasp the spiritual or personal reasons behind the chosen one's need for solitude. They may perceive it as a rejection of family values or a distancing from cherished relationships leading to feelings of hurt or rejection. In some cases, family dynamics can intensify when a chosen one's journey into solitude challenges existing family norms or expect expectations. Loved ones may experience a sense of loss or grief for the relationship they once had, mourning the Chang, as that come with the Chosen One's spiritual, awakening or quest for deeper meaning. This can create tensions or conflicts within the family unit, as different members navigate their own reactions and emotions. Conversely, there are instances where family and loved ones respond with acceptance and support, recognizing the chosen one need for solitude as a personal and spiritual journey. These individuals may offer encouragement, respect boundaries, and provide space for the chosen one to explore their inner growth. They may demonstrate empathy and, oh, panis seeking to learn more about the chosen ones, Experiences and perspectives while affirming their unconditional love and support, ultimately navigating family and loved one's reactions to a chosen one's need for solitude, requires patience, compassion, and open communication. It involves honoring both the chosen one's individual path and the relationships that bind them to their loved ones by fostering understanding and mutual respect. Families can navigate this journey together, finding ways to support each other's growth and evolution amidst the complexities of spiritual awakening and personal transformation as you step into your true self. You, you will notice how the world around you reacts. Some will celebrate you, while others may feel threatened through it all. Stay true to your path. Trust in the divine guidance and surround yourself with supportive, like-minded individuals. Remember, you are not alone. You are part of a greater plan and your light is needed in this world. Embrace your identity and let your light shine brightly. This is just the beginning of your journey. The best is yet to come. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did feel 
free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.